Today I'm starting a new playlist and it's called uh, Reading Through Rust, Atomics and Locks. And this is actually not about my book this time. It's about a book uh, published by Maribos. And you can see it's on, uh, it's on O'Reilly, but she also put the whole thing uh, online. So you can see uh, this is the, the entire book here. And this book, uh, oh, so she is the team lead of the, uh, of the wrestling library team and one of the one of the high wizards of rust as i like to think of uh think of them people that like work on the uh the internals of the language and um you don't uh, most people just working with rust in their daily lives don't get involved with uh anything this, this low level and so the nice thing about this book is it gives uh, a lot of insight into the uh like the deep uh, internals of how like the um how you have like the unsafe code and then there's like a, a safe abstraction to make uh, things like unsafe cell, which uh, which is used for a cell, and all, all these um, all the other interior immutable uh, mutability types, and uh, you know how that works on a really deep level. And so it um, it kind of like shines a light on something that most um, Rust programmers don't uh, don't end up learning. Um, probably. Don't uh, most of the time you you wouldn't need to know it, but the 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 more you understand how the internals work, the better. Um, especially when it comes to things like uh, avoiding deadlocks and uh, and that sort of thing. And so anyway, this whole book is um, so it's going to be just uh, just me reading through the book. And uh, the nice thing about this is um, you know I get to be selfish uh, this time, which is uh, I don't have to think of any examples myself. They're all. Uh, they're all on here, and um, then I can. There are people like me who uh, I, I like working through. Uh, I like watching other people work through books. Uh, when I when I was first learning Rust, uh, the best uh, the, the the point at which it started to click was when I I read the Rust book, and then I think I read it again, and then I think it was the third time I found a playlist of a guy called uh, Brook uh, Brook Zerker Brooks Builds. And he uh, he was going through the Rust book right from uh, scratch when uh, he, when he would, uh, when he was just starting as a as a JavaScript developer, and watching somebody go through the book made it um, a lot more real. And so uh, going to do that for this, and and also uh, again in Korean because uh, you know this is not in uh, translated into Korean. So for my Korean audience, I can also kind of translate the book at the same time. And so yeah, I get to be selfish in that way, and also because uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of new stuff here. Like this, um, you know, the first chapter, the basics is uh, you know not too bad, and then uh, atomics, memory ordering, and so on. But then when you get to uh, chapter seven and eight, this is like pretty wild stuff. Like I'll just show you. Here's chapter. Uh, I think this is chapter eight, and at this point, it's like. Uh, you know, I, I recognize a few words here, kind of a uh, kind of level. The messy protocol, the messy cache coherence protocol. Um, when requesting a cache line, that's already available. So it's like really, really deep, like uh, systems related stuff. Um, it gets into um, there's like assembly code comparing. There you go. The, so depending on um, on the processor, you have different assembly codes. So all of this is um, obviously new to me. Um, Assembly. I basically only know a few words, so this will be uh, this will be really interesting. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that is um, that's the plan. It's about two hundred fifty pages. Uh, I think the only chapter I'm not going to do is uh, this last one, ideas and inspiration. It's just uh, just a, a lot of ideas to sum up, uh, you know, where to go from here. And um, I don't think there are any code samples here. So uh, every chapter up to chapter nine, and probably. Yeah, just see how it goes. Um, I imagine every video is probably going to be about 20 or 30 minutes because uh, there's, there's quite a bit of content. So we'll just keep on uh, going uh, bit by bit and um, we will uh, we'll read this book together.